What's going on, YouTube? This is the Out the Beer Flame Stream. Today, I'm gonna fill you guys in on how I broke my nose. I already told everyone how I did this, but some of you guys don't watch all my videos, so unless I title it Broken Nose and How I Broke My Nose, you guys ain't gonna watch it. So, before I fill you guys on how I did break my nose, I'm in my room right now. We have a flight today at, I think it's 4 or 5-ish, I'm not quite sure what time it is, but I believe we have to leave here at 2 or 3. So I had to get ready to pack after this video, so we're in my room. Means that I'll be at UMG Nashville. So if you guys are there and you see me, come up to me, come say hi. If you guys want a photo, I'll be gladly to take it with you guys. No problem. If you guys want to talk to me about health, fitness, gaming, whatever's on your mind, come up to me. Let's do it. Let's have a good time. Uh, don't be afraid or intimidated because of this beard. It is a super friendly one, so come up to me and say hi. Come say hi to the whole team, and uh, we'll just hang out and chill while we're there. But now to the broken nose. And you guys are already missing it. Because I'm a super healthy freak, the cut that was on my nose is already gone. You could kind of tell the scar right there. I think you guys could see. Can you see it? Hey, you. You there. Can you see it? All right, as long as you can see, that's all I need. How I broke my nose, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna throw out some options to, you know, kind of get you guys brainstorming and see how did Mike really break his nose. So option one, I did say that we were gonna paddleboard with sharks today on the day I did break my nose. So, the question is, did Mike really get into an altercation with a shark because he read it in a book on how to defend yourself when in the water with a surfboard on how to stay alive from a shark? This is a true story, I read this in a book now it's up to you guys to wonder if I actually did encounter a shark or not. But if you ever see a shark and you have a surfboard, you want to hang on to the back of it, use the front of it kind of like a dagger, wait for that shark to come up and then poke it right in the nose. But maybe as soon as I poked that shark right in the nose, he was able to get a nice lick on my nose and break it. Option two. I was on the pier and decided to jump from the pier into the water. Some crazy maneuvering happened. There was a rock out of nowhere and then boom, Mike hits his nose, just scabbed it and it breaks. Or option three, Mike has gone surfboarding before and for some dumb reason, when we went paddleboarding this time, he decided to throw his board over a wave instead of knowing what surfers do is they grab the board and they just push it down and jump or dive underneath the, not jump, you can't jump unless you're on the board and jump over the wave, but you hold onto the board, you push it under the water, you dive underneath the water with it so you could go underneath the wave and you resurface. But what did Mike really do? Mike, instead of doing that with the surfboard, decided to throw the surfboard over the wave, dive underneath the water, and as soon as I dived, guys, I was in my head, all right, come on, we all know how physics and science and stuff like that works. You know, what comes up must come down. And in this case, what goes forward must come back because you know, a wave pushes things back to short. As soon as I dived underneath the water, oh, I knew the board was gonna be coming back my way. I put my hand in front of my face as quickly as possible uh, just to avoid any eye damage, which is the you know, biggest, craziest part of this whole scenario because I mean, my eye really could have got hit by the board and it could have been a worse injury than it really turned out to be. And uh, as soon as I put my hand up, the board came crashing at my nose. And as soon as it hit my nose, and I just hit my nose kind of hard right there. I'm not sure why. I just thought that it was healed. It hit my nose, and then I felt the impact. But it kind of just felt like I walked into a door. So I wasn't really bothered by it. So I jump on my board after it hits me in the nose. Just felt a shock. Start paddling on the board. I'm getting ready to jump on my board. All of a sudden, I see just blood all over my board. And I'm like... Okay, I'm in, I'm in the ocean and there are sharks in the ocean. I need to get the F out of there. So I immediately just turned around, rode my board back with the waves, got off of it, and then there is that crazy picture that you guys saw me post on my Instagram. I'll put the uh, link to that photo in the description below if you guys haven't seen it. Check it out, it's pretty crazy. And uh, I think the craziest thing about it is that Real blood looks faker than fake blood in movies and stuff. So I remember growing up all the time saying, wow, man, that blood looks so fake. I can't believe they would even put this in a movie. Like, this movie's not even scary because it's fake blood. But as you guys all know, or for everyone who has seen my photo, you guys, a lot of you all have said that it looks fake. But it is not fake. It is not Photoshop. I did really break my nose. There is the scar again once to prove it right there. Hope you guys can see that. It already healed up, but as you can tell, I still have these black eyes right here. These are healing up as well. You can kind of tell that my nose is kind of indented to this direction now. So, um, thankfully, I don't need any operation, no surgery, none of that. I just need to heal up for three or four weeks, and then I can get back to doing everything that I love to do. But that's it all. That's how I broke my nose. I did a stupid thing. So, uh, lesson learned. 
just because I do crazy things, I got to remember about physics because physics takes you right in the ass. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, if you guys are going to UMG Nashville, come up to me, say hello. We'll hang out for a bit. We'll watch some games and, you know, we'll just have a good time. So if you guys enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, this is the Out The Beard Flames. I will see you later. Peace.